Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Happy Holidays. Uh, before we jump in to today's review, I wanna let you guys know I have a bunch of sales going on for uh, my own books, both the Edward Lorne name and my Ward Nernlow name. Uh, Maiden right now is only $2.99 in ebook, I think everywhere, um, internationally as well. And the paperback is only $9.99. Um, so you can get the this for ten, the paperback for ten dollars, or the ebook for two ninety nine. I also have two short stories available: uh, Secret Santa under the Edward Lorne name, and Oh Holy Shit under the Ward Nerdlow name. And as before, hang on, let me move this around so I don't drop my mic. War on Christmas is out in both uh, paperback and ebook. The ebook is only 99 cents for three full stories. It's basically a novelette uh, about uh, Santa Claus saving the day. It's a dark fantasy. I really, really like it. But anyways, on to the review. All those links will be down there in the doobly-doo if you guys wanna go check them out. No problem if you're not interested. Let's just get back into the review. So today, we are talking about one of my favorite Christmas novels, which is Krampus by, or Krampus the Yule Lord by Brahm. Um, I went back and read my review. I have not uh, reread it since, um, but the, the book, uh, it, the book seems better to me now in hindsight than it was in my review. I only gave it four stars and I'm unsure why I didn't give it the full five. The same thing happened when I read The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins. Uh, that's an easy five star read for me. But for some odd reason I knocked off a star or a half a star or something like that and I can't remember why even after reading my review. But um, I mentioned those two together because they're kind of the same. They're very brutal. Uh, even though Krampus is a Christmas story and The Library at Mount Char or isn't uh, they both have the same vibe like a very uh, brutal visceral uh, vulgar Neil Gaiman is how I would describe these uh, there's not a whole lot of subtext in Brahms work so don't go in expecting high literature uh, but you will find high art especially if you get the ebook or you get the uh, the hardcover or uh, paperback and you get to see the pictures that uh, he drew along with the book I think that is the main draw of Brahms stories um, while Krampus is a hell of a lot of fun to read, there are there are some some complaints that I have read in other reviews that I'm like, okay, I, I can see where they're coming from. Like um, several women have noted that there are no strong female characters in the book. Um, one even mentioned a tone of misogyny that I didn't catch when I read it, but that doesn't mean it isn't there. Um, so if you're looking for something with a stronger uh, female presence, uh, this probably ain't the book for you. In fact, I don't remember a single female character from the book, so obviously there wasn't any good ones. Um, not, for me, is what I'm saying. Now, uh, as far as the rest of the story is concerned, it's about Jesse, uh, this down-on-his-luck dude. Uh, I believe he has baby mama drama. I'm pretty sure I put that in my review. Uh, but he, the book opens with... Well, actually, the book opens with a letter, or not a letter, a monologue to Santa Claus from Krampus, and I thought that was a very creepy, effective way to open it up. Right off the bat, you, you're you like, this is not the Santa Claus that we know and love. He's a thief. He's a murderer. He's all these you know terrible things. Krampus also is a bad guy. I, <laughs> I screwed up uh, when I said I was going to review the book. Um, I screwed up and said that he was a good guy. He's not really good. Um, he, if anything, he's cha chaotic good because they, they're both both villains in their own right, but Krampus is kind of the hero of this story if you ignore Jesse. Uh, one of the big things I remember about this book is the Bell Snickles. Sorry, my heater came on, I had to turn it off. Um, anyways, uh, I remember the Bell Snickles. I had a lot of fun with those, those guys. All of the Christmas lore, all of the uh, repurposed pagan, Yule, uh, even Christian lore for Santa Claus, That all that stuff. Um, I, I enjoyed immensely. But, as with the Library of Mount Char, I think the thing that I liked the most about this is how fucking brutal it is. Um, it is a very dark fantasy horror novel, um, and as long as you go in knowing that, and it's vulgar too, uh, vulgar language, so this is definitely not a kid's book, but I can't imagine looking at that cover and thinking that it's a kid's book. 
it, it's whatever. Not all, not all, not, not all Christmas stories are for children. Um, the characters, like I said, the only characters I, I really remember are Jesse, Krampus, and Santa Claus. I thought they were all effective. Everyone else just kind of slipped through the cracks for me. Um, but it has also been several years since I've read this, and I need to go back and reread it again. Um, but as far as the pacing is concerned, I was never bored. Um, I remember listening to the book. Um, I got it on Audible. Uh, I, I remember listening to it. I was never bored. I never wanted to, to speed up. But uh, I have read some reviews that say that, you know, th well, especially one from my friend Cindy who said, I don't have the pay. I'm <laughs> DNF at 20%. She liked the way the guy wrote, but she didn't have the patience for it. I don't remember there be ever being any lulls other than, you know, normal character development. So take that with a grain of salt. And as far as the dread is concerned, that's this. That's not this kind of story, I don't think. Um, I think it's more of, it's almost along the lines of like a slasher. It's, it's horror adjacent in that this book isn't really meant to scare you. It's more dark fantasy. It's more really cool adult content. Uh, not sex and all that stuff, but definitely the, uh, the violence and the, and the blood and gore. It's definitely a genre. Piece. Just don't go into this looking for subtext. But have you read Krampus by Brom? If you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it, you hated it, you felt meh about it. But if you felt any of those things, let me know in detail so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of Happy Holidays. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!